Hello guys, welcome back on another video. In this video, we are going to make a relay module to control or operate a 240 volt power supply. These are the material requires. Keep show before you start the project. First, keep the multimeter in the buzzer mode. Just check it whether it works. These steps are just to verify which pins are normally contact or normally open. So. We have found which pin is normally contact and normally open. So, normally open and normally contact closed. So, in normally open pin, the current flows only when the 5 volt is applied. And in normally contact, the current flows every time. That is, it only stops when the 5 volt is applied. So, in the last session, I will give how it works in a schematic diagram. So, don't miss it, watch it fully. This relay can be used with 5 volt and it can tolerate up to 240 volt with 7 amps current. These are coil pins and this normally contacted normal close. And the center pin is called common pin. I have made a PCB so just insert the pins into it and now it's time to solve it out. I have made a circuit diagram for this module. So it's not it's now time to insert the required components. First, I insert a 3 pin socket into the PCB board and I have skipped the soldering process because it makes the video a lengthy one. So, just insert it and solder it. The same way. Now, connect one of the normally contact and normally open pin to the 3 pin socket. So, I have given the circuit diagram and the work is completed. Just see and repeat the process as I have done. Now I am going to strike it with a marker so that I won't be confused after doing uh, 2 or 3 steps later. And it's now time to connect the common pin. This is the central pin and I have given a circuit diagram. So yes, I have completed it. It's completed and uh, it's time to strike down. And now we are going to use a diode. I have used Y and 4 zero, zero, 7 diode. And be sure whether you are inserting it to your right, positive, or negative because the PN junction diode works in a single channel. It's completed. The polarity is very important since it's a diode. Yes, it's now completed. Just try it out. The work is 90% completed. The last, we are going to use a BC547 transistor. And or you can even use an ENBN type transistor. Just insert it and follow the circuit diagram. Yes. Now I'm going to solder it. After soldering, I've shown this picture. So, just connect one one leg of the coil pin to the collector of the BC547 transistor is completed. Now we are going to insert a header pins. Before that we have to fry down. Yes, it's completed. By this way you won't be confused. So I have taken three header pins. One is for positive, one is for negative and another is a signal pin which signals whether the relay should be in off or on state. I have attached it to the PCB board and now it's time for me to connect one leg of the BC547 transistor that is the emitter pin to one leg of the header pins. I have shown. Yes. In the same way, you should have one leg and to one pin of the header pins. Just wait. I will sort that and show you more clearly. You can see it. I have soldered it. Though my soldering was a crude process, I hope you made the soldering better than me. Yes, now take a 10k resistor. You can even use a 1k or 100 ohm resistor. Just insert in, in the base of the emitter and one pin of the header pins. After inserting it, just solder it and follow my instructions. So, 
the transistor one leg of the transistor is connected to the base and another is connected to the middle pin or the header pin yes, you can see it now one pin is connected and another is so just track down the transistor because it's connected the process is 95% of the velocity work is to connect the 5 volt to the head pins yes this is the final step so the soldering work is fully completed now it's time for testing let's go now i have connected the three pins this first pin is of negative pin and the next two of positive pins so it is connected to a battery illuminator which can give up to 12 volts i have chosen a 5 volt because the relay used is only 5 volt now just choose one pin whether positive or negative and connect it to the common pin and take a bulb of 5 volt and connect the positive terminal of the bulb to the normally open pin now connect the remaining two terminals for the bulb and the battery together just do in the same way don't use a 240 volt because it may injure you so have chosen a small voltage so the circuit is completed just switch on switch on the power supply you can see the bulb glows when the power supply is on when the board and there is no power supply switch off there is no connection between the battery eliminator and the cell phone battery so the circuit will be protected if you are using a high volt power supply so now it's time to change from normally open to normally contact just see what's happened in normally contact when there is no power supply the bulb on so when there is a power supply bulb won't turn on so now you have understood the difference between the NO and NC pins. So thank you. Here is a circuit diagram for this prototype. So subscribe to my channel to enjoy more videos.